Greetings everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. We're at part 12 and it's time to move on to our next world. And no, it's not Traverse Town. No, 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 no. I have to go to Traverse Town in order to move on to the next world. For you see, I actually want to go down there. The one that's uh, right here in fact. You know, with battle level 2 and such. And the only way to get there from Wonderland, well, at the moment, is that I have to backtrack to Traverse Town and then make my way to the new level. Now, I could go to the new world on the right, but I'm not going to just yet. I want to go uh, it my way, you know? Just cuz. But still, having to backtrack to a previous world in order to get to a new world, it's ridiculous, folks. It's ridiculous. And thanks to the power of editing, I managed to, well, jump cut to uh, Traverse Town. But I'm actually showing off the pathway to this new world because, well, I'm going to show it off at least once. Just once. And then, if I'm to do any backtracking to a previous world, I'm just going to be uh, jump cutting. So, uh, you're welcome. Also, thankfully, later on, we're going to get the means to actually, well, warp to a uh, previous world. I mean, it's good for backtracking, but unfortunately, we have to actually go along the pathway to a new world in order to access it. So that we can uh, get to it later on when we warp to it. But, so yeah, we have to deal with this... <sighs> <laughs> the gummy ship and the shooting. I <laughs> I don't like these sections, folks. I really don't like these sections. But we have to tolerate it in order to, well, uh, get from point A to point B. It's just, yeah. And the score on the upper left, I, I, upper left, upper right, it's just there to tolerate things because we're essentially going through weird space shooting heartless gummy ships and obstacles and collect gummy blocks that we can use to customize our ship in. I, I, hate, I hate the gummy ship section. I hate it. I'm sorry if I'm complaining, folks, but I'm, I'm not the only one. I'm probably not the only one who hates this kind of thing, you know, traveling between worlds, but hey, well, how... I mean, it would have been nice to have a nice little portal section or something, uh, like a Stargate or something. Uh, something to make traveling between worlds easier, don't you think? But anyway, folks, here we are. The next world, the brand new world. We are approaching the Olympus Coliseum. Yes, the Olympus Coliseum. And it's based off the movie, well, the Disney version of Hercules. Yes. <laughs> da, 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 Hercules! Zero the hero! Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Ah. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a pretty good movie, when, it, when I think about it. So yeah, anyway folks, the Olympic Coliseum is actually a different world than uh, your typical world and, uh, well, the ones we're going to visit later on. In that there are o there are only uh, three places to explore. Well, the gate area around here, the uh, lobby area, and the actual coliseum. Now, uh, before I enter the lobby area, let's go. Uh, well, activate some trinities right here, and bam! Oh, uh, thank you, gods. Um, thank you for the gift. And it's uh, three more dalmatians. Uh, why would the gods have dalmatians among them? Uh. uh gods. Uh, at least the gods here are generous, you see. Well, well, there is one exception, but uh, we're going to meet him in, uh, later on. Alright, another blue trinity, and let's see what we get this time around. Alright, a mithril shard. Thank you, gods. I could use that later on. And inside this chest we get mega potion. Alright, that's all we can do right here for now. Now, I, you may notice that there are these, uh, well, these flames right here. Let's see if I can try and blow it out with some blizzards, shall we? Of course, I, it would be helpful to aim correctly. And let's try it again, shall we? Nope, it's not working. And after examining it, it's, it says that we cannot use blizzard on this thing. We need something stronger. Oh, don't worry, flames. I'll get you next time. I will get you next time. All right, folks, here we are in the lobby area, and uh, we're actually going to meet a character from Hercules because, well, he is an important part of his life. Um, 
good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the games. In the games. <laughs> yes, folks, meet Phil. And Phil here is pretty much Hercules' uh, trainer uh, throughout most of his uh, life. Well, starting with Hercules' adolescence, you see. And uh, I like the guy's voice acting uh, in this game. Um, he pretty much does a good imitation of Dane DeVito, who did the voice of Phil in uh, the movie. So, yeah. But I think this voice actor was also uh, used in uh, Hercules the TV series. It, yes, there was a Hercules TV series, and it depicted Hercules, well, in uh, high school. And he went to high school with all these other legendary Greek characters like uh, Icarus and Cassandra. And, uh, yeah, he had all sorts of adventures and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're trying to move this block, and uh, we're going to fail because it's too heavy for Sora. Not too heavy for Hercules, though. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world-famous Coliseum. Heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games. So run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got the one standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That grunt? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Hey, if you can't even move this... You can't call yourself... The hero! Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. You know, if Phil could have seen what the Fellowship of the Key has done so far, maybe he would have uh, relented a little. But no, nah, we still have to prove ourselves that we are worthy of the games, and we have to go through, well, an endurance test, as it were. So what is this test that we're going to go through? Well, break the barrels. <laughs> Feels like I'm in, I'm in Smash Brothers again or something. Well, break the targets, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we're just going to whack these barrels, destroy them all within the time limit so that, well, we be worthy of the games. And it doesn't look that bad, really. We just uh, whack them, destroy them, and uh, yeah. All right. One more barrel, and... Uh, oh, uh, yeah. And it w I think it's a good idea not to lock onto the barrels because, well, you can get thrown off at which target you're supposed to aim at and whatnot, so... Um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, we have our round two. And of course, the second time will be a bit harder, you see. Now, to successfully make sure you destroy them all, it's best to use that whole one barrel will go flying off method to destroy barrels that are also a little too far off, you see. You know, uh, so yeah. And if you do screw up, uh, you, you are given the option to retry, so uh, try as many times as you like to, well, until you succeed at doing this. Now this one right here, try and fling this barrel towards the one on the upper platform right there, just like so. Uh, yep. Although it is possible to jump up to that platform to destroy the barrel yourself, so, um, yeah. Alright, so yeah, I got two more barrels, and... They just happen to be on the other side right here. Uh, ah, come on. I can do this. Uh, and... Yeah, we did it. We qualified for the games, right? Right? I mean, we should be able to prove that we are heroes, aren't we? Are we? You know, 
You ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. Oh, <laughs> after all that, we are still denied the games. Thanks, Bill. But he does give us a, a nice little consolation prize. The magic spell, Thunder. And yeah, folks, our third spell of the game. It's really lightning, folks, but they call it Thunder because Thunder sounds more cool, as it were. <laughs> so let's just get out of here, shall we? Ah, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? Oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, the, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. Boy, that was a nice fellow, huh? Giving us an entry pass into the games. I mean, he's he's like a trustworthy guy, right? Right? Ah, screw it. I'm just going to drop the pretense right now. Folks, we just met the main villain of Hercules, Hades. And, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, folks, um, he's also a member of the League of Disney Villains that we've encountered earlier in the game. Or the Council of Darkness, as someone pointed out in the comments section. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, the main goal, one of the main goals of uh, the, well, whatever you want to call this group, is to, well, attain power through darkness. And um, uh, let's just say that as we go through this game, more of their plan will be revealed. But let's just say right now, they've all united for a common goal, you see. Which is why I'm calling them, like, the League of Disney Villains is because, you know, like, uh, like a Legion of Doom where supervillains gather together for a common goal and such, so, uh, yeah, but I can alternate between the two, so it doesn't matter, really. Really? Really? <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm saving my progress because we're about to enter the preliminary, the, the, the pre-game games. I can't pronounce things correctly today, I'm sorry. And, um... Uh, well, I might, I might as well say, because there's a chance I can still screw up this uh, whole process, you see. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's go on and talk to Phil, and uh, give him our pass, so that, well, <laughs> we can enter the games. Okay. Alright, so yeah, let's do this, shall we? Let's enter the games! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're... Yeah, and the weirdos uh, Phil's talking about, they're the Heartless. They are the Heartless. And it's Heartless we've actually encountered before. Well, except for uh, one occasion, as we're going to see in just a bit. <laughs> Alright. Now, these magic-wielding uh, Heartless here are the Blue Rhapsodies. <laughs> the more musical, <laughs> more musical references you see. And because of the, the, their color, they represent the ice elemental. Yeah, they're going to shoot ice at you. And of course, being ice, their weakness is fire, so, well, use the fire spell against them. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so... <laughs> So yeah, this is the this is the main purpose of the Olympus Coliseum, folks, is to fight uh, Heartless in a tournament-like setting, so that we can advance and earn some uh, well prizes as well as some uh, well uh, you know experience points because you can come here to get a good amount of experience points uh, here, there, and everywhere. So <laughs> all right. So, yes, um, Hercules. I might as well talk a little bit about the, uh, well, the movie Hercules, that is. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we just met, uh, Cloud. <laughs> yeah, you remember Cloud from Final Fantasy VII? You know? <laughs> you know that, uh, guy, uh, who's, uh, you know, with the whole, uh, Mako and the, <laughs> the uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyway, back to Hercules. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. They were planning a movie uh, after after the success of uh, movies like Aladdin and all that stuff. Uh, 
Let's see here. Um, basically, the whole plot of uh, Hercules is, uh, well, Hercules was bor born to two gods, Zeus. Well, yeah, Zeus was uh, obviously Hercules' father. But in the Disney movie canon, well, um, his mother is uh, Hera, another god. And, uh, yeah, again, Disney sort of thing. So, yeah. Well, basically, uh, Herc was born a god, and uh, Hades, well, he didn't like the idea of Hercules in the first place, so uh, he sent his two minions, uh, Pain and Panic, to essentially uh, make Hercules mortal so that uh, he could die, really. <laughs> so, uh, Pain and Panic gave uh, Hercules uh, a formula as a baby, mind you, and, uh, well, the thing is, he didn't drink all of the formula, which... He made, it made Hercules mortal, but he still has incredible super strength. So, yeah. And then Hercules was, uh, well, uh, well, tossed out of Olympus or left Olympus somehow. And he was raised by a farming pa parents and stuff. You know, kind of like Superman, don't you think? You know, um, a superhero raised by, well, ordinary people and stuff. Uh, teaching them good values and stuff. Only this time, like, uh, his uh, kind's not dead, you see. They're just above in the sky out of reach of him, you see. And then that's when uh, Hercules uh, got in contact with Zeus, um... And he got a, uh, uh, Hercules got a winged horse, a uh, Pegasus. And he started to train with Phil how to become a hero and stuff. So, um, yeah. And uh, throughout the course of the story, uh, well, Hades plots, uh, her, well, vengeance. And uh, he, his ultimate plan is to release the Titans to, well, take over Olympus and destroy Zeus for... Well, it's because it's Hades. He's such a douche. In fact, he's a douche in this game as well because, well, he... <laughs> yeah. But it just so helps, but... Uh, it's because... Uh, Hades is likable in this game is because, well, it's James Woods voicing him. Yeah, he voiced uh, uh, Hades in, well, the movie, and he, and he comes back to voices uh, Hades in this game. And, yeah, I mean, James Woods can make uh, people entertaining, especially Hades, and... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in fact, here comes a performance with uh, James Woods right now. That little punk is your next opponent, okay? I don't blow it. Just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. Well, you gotta fight that kid to get to him. Come on. Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it. I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Jeez. Stiffer than the stiffs bag home. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> See? I told you James Woods would be entertaining. <laughs> anyway, we have uh, one more round with Heartless before we actually face off against Cloud. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, um, yeah, folks, the Olympus Coliseum. Technically, it's a 100% completely optional, well, world. We don't have to come here in order to complete the game. So, yeah, we can pretty much come here, well, correction, not come here and finish the game, and that's that, I guess. But I want to explore all the worlds. I want to do uh, what all the worlds have to offer. And I just upgraded and got myself some guard, which can uh, help Sora block attacks, which I will equip. But, yeah. Oh, boy. Grab this large body. Ow. Ugh. I hate this thing. I can't wait until I get stronger so I can take this guy within a couple of hits. Because, um, yeah. You may notice that some of these poses that uh, the le the the, le the Fellowship of the Key is doing, uh, well, they're kind of reminiscent of uh, Final Fantasy victory poses, you see. <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, Final Fantasy characters, here we are against good old Cloud himself. And yeah, he's going to try to uh, stick his sword into you. He'll do the... He'll do... He'll do... Uh, he'll well, try and slash you up. He'll uh, do a Sonic Blade and... Um, 
Yeah, he can be a little tough, especially if you are uh, at a lower level. But there are people who can beat this guy at a lower level, I kid you not. I've seen some playthroughs on YouTube in which that's possible. For my strategy, just uh, keep your distance. If he comes lunging towards you, just get out of the way and strike at him like when he's vulnerable, like when he's trying to get his sword out of the ground. So overall, this should be no problem. Just keep some potions handy and you'll be all right, really. Now, I do have to say, I really like this boss music. Technically, we heard this boss music before when we faced off against Guard Armor and Trick Master. Yeah, this uh, boss music called uh, Shrouding Dark Cloud, it, it has a nice little menace to it, well, this early in the game. I mean, we're going to hear some other boss music uh, later on, but uh, yeah. And Shrouding Dark Cloud. Do you think it's appropriate because we're fighting uh, Cloud right now? Because, <laughs> and not because... Uh, <laughs> so yeah, patience is the key to victory, folks. Don't just don't go lunging at him like you would uh, heartless. This takes some strategy. Wait for for a uh, proper opening and uh, go for it. Really, like here, for example. <sighs> oh, whoa, Ooh, tech point, yay! Yeah, come on, come on. <sighs> All right, Donald. Ah, uh, yeah, folks. Uh, let me sh let me tell you about how your party works. Um, when they lose their, all their HP, well, they go unconscious. They will not die. They'll just be unconscious, and uh, it'll be a bit, folks. But they'll revive themselves and rejoin the battle, and then, uh, yeah. So they don't die. They just get knocked unconscious, leaving you well by yourself. Now, when you see a uh, good old clown here doing these dash attacks, that means he's getting a little bit desperate and he's about to, well, lose. So, just keep moving. Don't let those... Ow! Okay. And... Come on. Going down, Cloud. Ugh. Come on, Goofy. Wear him down. Be a good little distraction and... Uh, okay. Almost. There we go. <laughs> I win. Here a moment, courtesy of Hercules. So yeah, folks, Hercules is going against Cerberus right now, and uh, you know what? We should help him out. But first of all, I'm going to go save off screen and prepare myself because this is going to be a doozy of a battle coming up. So yeah, folks, in uh, part 13, we will go back and face off against Cerberus and help Herc save the day. <laughs> 